YouTube, thanks for inviting me and coming to China. My name is Su Dongpo. This is the year 1095 AD. This is China's Northern Song Dynasty. I was a scholar official of the Song Imperial Court. Now they have banished me again, this time to Weizhou, Guangdong. Life is hard here, but the people are my friends, and everybody respects and loves me as a popular and famous poet. Every day, I climb the mountains to converse with Taoist and Buddhist sages. But I always come down the mountain to the people, to the common folks, and try to be worthy like the great sage Confucius. I am happy with my third wife, Zhao Yun. I regret not having done more to stop the heavy burden of unfair state taxes, to prevent famines, and to stop the flooding. But most of all, I failed to convince the emperor that the mandate of heaven was being perverted by his prime minister. I love wine food, tea, and the local gifts keep pouring in, making me forget my past mistakes. The splendid moon, the cool breezes, the boundless heavens, and the soothing waters all interfuse with my vital human spirit. With this fusion of nature and my human spirit, how can I be melancholy? Our hopes can transcend all difficulties. Our human spirit will overcome all injustices. YouTube wants me to read two of my favorite poems. I translated these into English myself. Oh, by the way, thanks uh, YouTube for these glasses. In, in Sung, China, we didn't have classes. Let me read two of my favorite poems, Wishing We Live Forever and Ten Years Departed, A Dream. I'll read them in English first. Wishing we live forever, bright moon ever so round, when again I toast my wine, asking the luminous dark sky, what celestial year is this auspicious night? I wish to ride the winds galloping to the moon home. High up, a jasper jade pavilion, palace of heaven, which lofty immortals live here. Tall walls cannot stop this unbearable cold. I jump up dancing with my moonlit shadows. How strange from the human mortal world. Circling the vermilion chamber, peeking through woven lattices, moonbeams shining on sleepless eyes. We shouldn't bear grudges, but moon, why so round at times of such long, long partings? People have sorrows, happiness, separations, and reunions. Moon, you face dim and bright, wax and wane. Since time's immemorial, perfection is hard to come by. But bless us one thing, wishing we live forever. 
wishing we live forever. Tonight, although thousands of miles apart, let's all of us reunite by sharing this lovely, beautiful moon. Ten years departed a dream. Ten years a vast abyss between my living and your death. Not that I want to recall, but yet I cannot forget thousands of miles away, your solitary grave. Nowhere can my words find solace. If we were to meet again, how could you recognize me, my dusty withered face? my snowy white temples this deep night a serene dream suddenly i am transported back home you by the window combing your makeup you turn our eyes meet i speak but no words come out silently i see Streams of dry tears line your face. Year after year, grief churns me inside. On these moonlit nights, your mound shimmering by short pines. Now Chao Yun, my third wife is going to read Wishing We Live Forever in Chinese. Zhao Yun, you are here. Hello. Hello. 今夕是何年转朱阁低起户照无眠但愿人长久 Yun, that was beautiful, my third wife. Now we will read another poem. Jiang Cheng Zi 十年生死两茫茫夜来幽梦忽还乡
短松冈。